What's up everybody? So today we're going to be covering five basic hover effects you can immediately put into your projects. Now if you're wondering how we made these beautiful grid boxes and this nav bar with React routing and everything, the links to those videos are in the description below and let's get into it. So I'm going to assume that you already have an application made. If you don't, go ahead and start one up and I'm going to be working in this uh, file called more deets right here. It's just a simple div with an H1 in it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make our box. So it'll be a simple div with a class name of Boxy. And I'll just do, wow, Boxy box. And I'm also gonna be importing our box.css file. So if you already have a CSS file made, let's go ahead and import into your application. So import dot slash box dot CSS. So the CSS for our box is going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be targeting the class name and I'm going to do a width, oops, width of 300 pixels and a background, oh no, not that. Background green, not green. And let's do padding uh, 50 pixels, margin left, auto, margin right auto and we'll save it and let's go into our tab more deets and we see our boxes right there so i gave all these effects pretty cool names to them and uh the first effect is called the acromatize effect or the fade out effect but whatever so boxy hover and i'll do opacity at 0 0.5 and i'll do a transition duration and 0 0.5 seconds and we'll see that if we hover over this box, it opacitized to 0 0.5 in 0.5 seconds. So for this effect, it's amazing. It's called the hue modifications and uh, it just changes the color. So it'll just be background color and I'll do medium aquamarine. And we'll see that if we hover over it in 0.5 seconds, it changes the color from green to medium aquamarine. So the next effect I like to call the sprout enact or the grow effect, but whatever. So transform and scale two. And we'll see that if we hover over it, it got bigger. All right, so for the next effect, I call the shrivel ramifications. Now, little backstory, this effect scientists have pondered over this effect for over a millennium and I have solved it. Very simple, very simple. We're gonna leave everything as is, but we're gonna move the two and I'm gonna do less than one, so 0.5. Now, if we were to hover over the box, it go small, it go real small. So the next effect is by far my most favorite effect ever. I call it the twist implementation. All right, it's amazing. It's beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an at symbol keyframes. I'll call it boxy rotation. And inside of here, I want to do from transform rotate. I want to do zero degrees to transform. I want to rotate at 359 degrees. So we don't want 360 degrees so break. Cool. So now we want to apply this to our hover. So it'll be real simple. We're just going to get rid of our transition duration and our transform. I'll just do animation. And inside here we'll do boxy, oops, boxy rotation. Rotation, rotation. And four seconds and infinite, so this will go on forever. For It'll take four seconds to loop, but it'll go on forever. And we'll do linear, and there's many other ways to do it. You can do ease in, ease out, ease in and out. I think that's one last one. And so now if we save it, we hover over it. Oh no, it no work. Why are you not working? Boxy rotation, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Transform, oh wait, 
Ah, there we go. Transform. Transform. There we go. And now it's transforming. 360 rotations. 360 twirls. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Learned some pretty useful hover effects. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.